Hello, and today we're going to make a simple plaque, and we're going to embed a skull into some plaster of Paris. We just chose a skull for this particular video, but you can use any objects you like. Object or objects. So, um, like I say, we're going to put this skull into a plaster of Paris frame. So, what I'm using here is some foam core. I'm just going to measure out the space which is appropriate for this model, but of course you can make it any size you would like. So I'm just using a steel rule there and a pencil just to measure out the frame and make the edges nice and straight because I want a nice straight edged plaque. So like I said, that's foam core on the base and we'll build, we'll build up some walls using the same material, which is the foam core which will house our plaster of Paris when we get round to filling in the housing to create our plaque. So bear in mind this is a model so the, this isn't going to be for anything to sell. sell. Uh, we're just building a model and we will take a mould from the model to make further replicas from concrete or resin depending on what we're going to make and this plaque is in this case this plaque is a basic template to elaborate um, with more designs on to the plaque if that makes any sense and you'll see some future videos to see what I mean with elaborating on the designs on the plaque so just creating a basic plaque where we can use our imagination to uh, create different pieces different styles and so on so there I'm cutting up the walls for the housing. Measuring it out carefully, getting those edges nice and straight to build our plaque or our plaque housing. And now I'm fixing in the walls and I'll use a hot glue gun to stick down the walls for our housing. I just picked up just uh, an old disk drive there. Um, a bit of wood will do. It's just to create a um, 90 degree angle so we can get the um, the walls 90 degrees from the base. So you can use anything that's 90 degrees just to uh, get those walls in place. That was just something I had lying around, so I just used that, the disk drive. So there we are, we're gluing in the uh, walls with the hot glue gun and making sure to fill any uh, places where the plaster of Paris might escape and leak all over the place. So obviously you want to be careful there because you don't want your plaster of Paris leaking out of the housing. And basically what we're making here is a, is a mould. So now I'm just... Uh, seeing where the skull is going to be placed and how high I want to raise it from the base and I've got a couple of plastic shot glasses there which actually worked out quite nicely for me because I want quite a deep base for this plaque so when I make the mould I've got the choice of making a shallow base or a deeper base as deep as I make the plaque in this model so if I want some shallow bases once I've made the mould I only have to fill it up to where I want to an inch or maybe up to three inches. So there we are, I got some plaster of Paris there. I mixed it up, and now we're pouring it into the base. I actually mixed this in three or four batches. Um, I wasn't too bothered about that because I'm just building a model, so I'm not looking for strength or anything like that. I just want the basic shape. But if I was to make a cast out of plaster of Paris, I'd want to um, mix up the plaster of Paris just in one batch. So in this case, it will suffice for this particular job because we just want the shape, the model, and it'll be strong enough for what I want to use. Anyway, Plaster of Paris isn't that strong anyway, so I wouldn't recommend using it for cast casting and casts that you want to sell. So just get rid of some air there. I blew on top of the surface and just using a cocktail stick to get rid of some more air, bu air bubbles the best I can. And we're waiting for that to cure. So I waited for an hour or two, and now we can take away the wall or the walls and that will reveal our plaque
got uh, one nice sturdy plaque to do with what we want to do with it. So like I said, I'm going to mould this up. I'll let this dry. And there's a few cracks that need filling in, but not too drastic. So we'll use um, some kind of filler just to fill in those cracks and make it look nice. And then we're ready for whatever we want to do with this plaque. So like I say, I'll feature what we're going to do, what I'm going to do with this particular plaque in future videos. So we are job done. I find this quite a handy way, you know, in using plaster of Paris to embed objects into to create your own designs. So anyway, there we are. So see you soon and see you in the next videos. Thank you for watching and over and out for now.